Hello, welcome to this Magic Ad for Revit new features webinar for 218 update release 1. Um, this video is going to show the new feature which is the multi device connection tool. This will enable the user to connect multiple air terminals or other devices uh, for ventilation into the ductwork um, using a single function to enable multiple connections at once so it should really help streamline the um, the way in which the modeling takes place to connect multiple uh, grills or devices to ductwork and remove the unnecessary repetition uh, that can be found in this kind of uh, function so as you can see here in the 3D view we have different heights so the tool is not restricted by all being exactly the same offset you can have different offsets available you can see they are different uh, so we're making it slightly more awkward and you can also see that these grills are facing opposite each other onto the rectangular duct so we've got the rectangular there we have circular connections uh, and they are slightly staggered so it's not the the easiest connection to make in the world um, even doing it singly but this will even do it multiple I can even move these out at different locations as well so I can stagger these as you can see fit you know it doesn't really matter how they're done so let's do something slightly difficult like that then all I need to do is go to the device connection or we can even just highlight the grills like this and then use the shortcut here then once we've done that we can just click on the duct to what to connect into and you'll see that the solution for all those grills is carried out there and you can choose again magic add normal functions whether it's a T or a tap at this point which duct series and from previous releases you can tell it we can actually put the rectangular um, it's a round flexible connection at, at the end of the uh, uh, the duct as well onto the uh, air device you can choose a length for that as well so if I press 500 and press apply it will update that to suit and you can choose the, um, the standard angles at which it drops off the rectangular ductwork to meet the spigot so press OK and you can see there that we now have the rectangular ductwork connected exactly at 45 degrees to different heights in one go so that's a massive time saver in Revit as I'm sure you'll appreciate uh, so I hope you can see the benefit in that and then I'm just going to show you the same operation again but done slightly differently if we want to use this tool from here, we can have a floating toolbar, instead of dragging a window and do multiple devices, I can actually just click if I wanted to do separate ones, you don't have to do them all at once, you could do two, three, four, I'm just going to do four in this case but it's just a different way of selecting them, click on the duct again and you'll be presented with the same uh, uh, solution here, there we go and then choose a different angle maybe this time, it's up to you and then just press OK and you can see there we've now got these connected and as I stated before <coughs> these are on the, uh, the flexible at the end you can see there the flexible ductwork is moving around as you can see like that so um, that's the tool um, uh, demonstrated it's uh, uh, a large time saver for many people using Revit who want to connect up air devices whether it's grills, fan coil units, chill beams, whatever uh, it can be used for all those so thank you very much for your time and I hope that was useful